Today we want to consider examples um, pertaining to LU decomposition and the utilization of the LU decomposition to solve a system of equations AX equals B. In this example, we want to find the LU decomposition for matrix A um, equal to 1, 2, minus 1, 3 and use this decomposition to solve AX equals 1, 1. Our solution is going to come about by doing two things. We will first find U by reducing A to its upper triangular form doing Gaussian elimination steps. And then we will find L by simply putting the negatives of all the multipliers used um, below the diagonal of the 2 by 2 identity matrix. In general, we would do this for an N by N system, and so that would be all the multipliers below the diagonal of the N by N identity. Now, as we look at our matrix A above here, we see that we need to multiply row 1 here, this pivot, by 1 and add it to the second row to get the new row 2. And that's described right here on this line where we have row 2 is becoming 1 times row 1 plus row 2. So the elementary matrix that we need to perform this task is going to be E21, <clears throat> and it's equal to 1, 0, 1, minus, uh, I'm sorry, 1, 1, because this entry is going to be the multiplier. And recall, this is actually the elementary matrix, so we actually put the multiplier in this entry here. Now, multiplying E21 times A gives us this product, and we see that we do get an upper triangular matrix right here with a zero in the entry that we wanted. So there is our U, and we have that, and we're going to call that equation one. So in one, we see that we have actually here what we would consider L inverse, and L inverse times A is equal to U. So we'll multiply both sides of that equation by the inverse of L, and I'm using this terminology because in general we'll have something larger than a 2 by 2. In this case, we only had one elementary matrix, E21, that we had to deal with, but in general we'd have several, and we would multiply those all together on the left-hand side to get L inverse. So we'll find the inverse of L, and if we recall from our lecture, the inverse of L can be found simply by changing the sign of the entry that is below the diagonal. So this entry right here is a positive one. In order to find the inverse of L, we would make that a negative one. And in our case, again, recall that L is simply equal to E21 inverse because there's only one elementary matrix needed here to perform the elimination steps. And you might want to verify that E21 inverse here is actually correct by simply multiplying that by E21 and showing that you get the 2 by 2 identity matrix. So we now have A is equal to 1, 2, minus 1, 3, which is what we started with. And we have now decomposed that into L here, 1, 0, minus 1, 1, and U here, 1, 2, 0, 5. Now recall that the whole purpose of this was to split the matrix A into LU because we can now do the elimination steps in N squared over 2 operations for L and N squared over 2 operations for the portion with U. So equation 2 says that LU at, um, times X is equal to B. And so if we let UX equal to C as seen in equation 4, then equation 3 becomes LC equal to B. And we now know that we can solve equation 3 first, solving for C. And once we have C, we can solve equation 4 to get X. So first we'll tackle equation 3. And notice that that is a lower triangular system. Um, the front solve process here will give me that C1 is equal to 1. And then solving the second equation, we get that C2 is equal to 2. So we have here that our vector C solving equation 3 is 1, 2. Now we'll use that vector C to solve for X in equation 4. And notice that in this case we're going to back solve. So we're going to solve the upper triangular system 1, 2, 0, 5 with the right hand side 1, 2 which is C. Solving for X2 first we get that X2 
is 2 fifths and then solving for x1 you get that x1 is 1 fifth so our solution to ax equals b is x is equal to 1 fifth times the vector 1 2 and recall that we can factor out any scalars to just simplify so what you might want to do now is verify that the solution that we found x 1 fifth times 1 2 actually solves the equation ax equals 1 1 and this concludes our simple example on how we would use the LUD composition to solve a system of equations.